Fulbright, formerly the Fulbright Company, LLC, is an American indie video game developer based in Portland, Oregon, best known for their video game Gone Home. Before forming Fulbright, three of the staff worked together on Minerva's Den, the single-player expansion to BioShock 2. During the development of Gone Home, the team worked and lived together in the same house. After its release, one team member left to found a new studio, Dim Bulb Games. Fulbright's next game, Tacoma, was released in August 2017. History Minerva's Den and Founding The Fulbright Company was formed by Steve Gaynor, Jonaman Nordhagen, and Carla Zimania in March 2012. Kate Craig, an environment artist, joined the company full-time in August 2012. They had previously worked together at other video game developers but were attracted to the artistic liberty and self-management of a small game studio, with the freedoms of working without rigid schedules and relationships. They live and work together in a northeast Portland, Oregon, house known as the Fulbright House, except for Craig, who worked remotely from Vancouver, Washington. Craig likened the group to being in a band due to their closeness partially necessitated by lack of money, such as in sharing flights and lodging. Steve Gaynor attended Portland State and dabbled in several arts fields before using level design to enter the games industry. He made levels for first-person shooter video game FEAR on his own, and entered Sony in San Francisco as a games tester in 2006. His experience with FEAR levels brought him to Houston's Timegate Studios, at work on the low-pressure FEAR expansion Perseus Mandate. He joined 2K Marin in 2008 after receiving encouragement from the Bioshock 2 creative director to apply. Gaynor was the lead designer on the game's single-player expansion Minerva's Den in 2010. The Minerva team was small, and included Zimania and Nordhagen. Zimania was the 2D artist and collaborated on the game's story with Gaynor, though she saw herself more as an editor than a writer. Gaynor left 2K for Irrational Games in 2011 to work on Bioshock Infinite. Though the two wanted to collaborate, they were now split between Boston and San Francisco, where Zimania continued at 2K on the Bureau, XCOM Declassified. Unsatisfied with big-budget work, Gaynor and his wife moved to Portland, where they both wanted to live, and Gaynor sought to make a personal game, one with an intimate narrative, without soliciting outside money or growing larger than a small team. As Gaynor and Zimania lacked computer programming expertise, they reached out to Nordhagen, who had recently sent an existentially introspective tweet about his career. Together, they formed the Fulbright Company. Topic: <laughs> Gone Home. Gone Home is a video game that features a female protagonist. It included support for controllers, which Polygon credited to the team's experience on AAA first-person shooters. In its first weeks following release, Gone Home was a top seller on Steam and covered in the New York Times. It won Best Debut at the 2014 BAFTA Game Awards and 2014 Game Developers Choice Awards, and Polygon's 2013 Game of the Year. Its release begat discussions about narrative and gameplay in video games. For the game's focus on empathic story and lack of gun based gameplay, the Fulbright Company partnered with indie publisher Midnight City to produce a video game console port of Gone Home. Fulbright originally built the game for personal computers so as to not worry about the design limitations and optimizations necessary for a console release. Wanting to move on to their next game, the company sought out a publisher to do the porting work for them. Following release, Nordhagen left to found his own studio, Dim Bulb Games, in June 2014. 
The Fulbright Company rebranded itself as Fulbright two months later, on August 4, 2014, and wrote that its continued focus would be on immersive, unforgettable story exploration video games. Chris Plant of Polygon cited Fulbright as an example of smaller, independently owned studios whose games show signs of social progress in the video game medium. Tacoma Fulbright announced the next game, Tacoma, at the Game Awards in December 2014. The brief trailer featured a radio dialogue between a man and a woman, set in the lunar transfer station Tacoma 200,000 miles from Earth. Polygon noted that its aesthetic was similar to Rapture, the underwater city of Bioshock. Tacoma was released on August 2, 2017 on PC and Xbox One.